All right, well, hey guys, um, welcome to another episode of MP here. This is episode two of Westby, Wisconsin. Um, yeah, today we are finishing up our third cutting of hay. I am running our 4440 on a case baler, and um, I brought our 6410 down here and um, cart already to go ahead and prepare. So. So far, hay crop is yielding pretty well. Though we are making small round bales, which is the unfortunate thing. I do wish I had a little bit bigger baler, but for now, it'll do the job. Uh-oh. There goes the crazy neighbor again. <sighs> you know, sometimes I do wonder about him. He's not always the brightest. Hey, hey, H, I got a question for you. Yes, what? Hang on. Oh, Lord. Shut the door. My transmission is making a squealy sound. Should I do something about it? Nah. I think okay. it's good. I think we're good. Anyway, I got all my hay and done. You mind if I help you out? Oh, yeah. Go on ahead. Uh, keys are in the uh, 60 through 10 if you need it. And uh, go ahead and just park the Suburban somewhere. Also, make sure it does not drop the transmission on my land. I don't need the EPA here. That'd be some good fertilizer with the oil I'm running. <sighs> but what about OSHA? Would that be OSHA approved? Sir, this is Wisconsin. OSHA isn't around here. Well, uh, well you learn something new every day. Um, just don't go making no spicy dirt on me now. We don't need you creating any electrical fires or any other thing to get OSHA involved. Or to even get this county on the map. What do you mean on the map? We're going to put it on the news if you do something. Well, I don't really see a whole lot of civilization around here, so... Oh, well, yeah. For like the past 20 years, so... Yep. We're still outside of Westby, aren't we? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Which is good. Of course, if you really wanted to go off the grid, you could go into that valley over yonder. Oh, yeah. Get you a cabin or something out there, you know? Nice little log cabin and start stealing drum brakes. You and your drum brakes, I swear. Mm-hmm. Ever since I got that Suburban sitting over there, it's been drum, uh, drum <laughs> language. Sir, uh, you need uh, some language lessons? No. No? I'm good. You're good, okay. I don't know where I was going with that one. Uh-oh. That's not good. But yeah, uh, put the cabin up in the woods would be nice. Nice place to go get away from everything especially with the city encroaching on us and the way you know the new regulations are and as I said OSHA and all that we didn't have that just a few years ago wasn't so bad but uh, I didn't exist around them oh yeah but hay crop is yielding well um, how was your Hey, crop. Oh, I'd say it was pretty good. Um, no, what's it? First cut, I got around 30 bales. Oh, shoot. And second cut, I got, oh, I'd say maybe 40 or something. A little more than the last one, but I'm pretty good on hay right now. I'm planning on selling some. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if I'll be interested, but someone might be. Depends. Um, I know we both have not gotten our cattle yet. No, I plan on getting that sometime in January or February. Uh oh. Did we not drop a bale back there, guys? Um, Doesn't look like it. Uh, hey, bud, I think I'm going to need you to come assist me. I think the chamber is uh, locked up on this thing. Uh, give me a minute. I got a text message. Oh, shoot.
All right. Uh, Better not be from that crazy French guy. You know the one I employ? I haven't seen him in like three days. I'm pretty sure he's probably drunk in a ditch somewhere. Yeah, yeah get in there and see if you can uh, get it to work. Oh, yeah. I think you forgot to lift your lever. Oh, maybe so. Let's see. We still good? Put, put, pick. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we're still good. Alrighty, thanks. But yeah, that French guy I haven't seen in forever. Have you seen that? Um, I know you're supposed to be getting maybe a new helper here soon. Mm, it's not for certain, but. Yeah, I know he said he wants to come on and help, but I know his schedule is a little busy. Yeah, he's quote unquote working for deer at the moment. They're making something new. It ain't nothing big, but it's. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he is. He's got a nice big project going on. I know Deer's been working him pretty hard getting that uh all sorted. Mm. I know it'd definitely be useful around here for what we do. Oh yeah, I mean would definitely be a nice addition. Mm -hmm. Maybe get rid of the uh Meyer boxes or some of the other stuff. Would certainly help out. Yeah, John Deere made forage boxes. Yep, they, uh, they're developing something new. And um, a header cart would be nice, too. Oh, yeah. And I know the uh, co-op has, and even um, Mr. Cattle Ranch has got a small square baler, so they might want a um, bale trailer at some point. Them and their small square bales. Well, the co-op kind of makes sense. They sell it as a side thing, you know, quality... Oh. Yeah. Quality hay for the horses or whatever. So that they do it kind of in a bulk type thing. And I mm -hmm. think um, Cabe, or Rafty, as some of you guys may know him, is supposedly going to be coming back here soon. He's been a little busy as of recently and um, just hasn't had time, unfortunately. Yeah, so good for a lot of people around here. Yeah, it's the unfortunate fact, but um, we're making do. And uh, Brucker, the other, I guess, co-owner of the co-op, is been buying up some machinery and some land in the last couple weeks. Yeah, well, when I went down to the dealership to buy that stuff off of him, he was loading up some fertilizer. Oh, yeah. Did you see that nice combine he bought? No, what did he buy? Oh, uh, him and Cabe uh, went ahead and picked up a 2388, I believe. Or a 2588. Oh. Yeah, they picked up a red machine. I'm a little surprised because there's only one guy around here that I know has one. It's 2388 as well. Yep. Oh, yeah. They picked up that machine. Um, I know Cabe said he wasn't much of a deer guy. He wanted a red machine. Which yeah, I it's about... So. Yeah, which I can't blame him. I know uh, he's one of the only though. I'd um, I'd like to see a yellow machine maybe here sometime soon. Oh yeah, one of the new Hollands would be neat. I'd like one of them PRs. Oh yeah, that would be a real nice machine to have. Uh -oh. But one can only hope. Um, that or maybe get another side hill. Much as I like my 6600, it's just it's not not big enough. That's what they all say. Oh, yeah. You get something nice, and then you want something bigger. I wonder if they're doing one of them demos over there. I wonder. Yeah, maybe so. That'd be something to talk to a Brucker about. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, What'd you do, no. sir? No, 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 no. I, I hit the brakes a little too hard. Yeah, the brakes on that thing's just a little... They're a little hard. They're not like the Suburban. Oh yeah, I bet. So yeah. Oh, go on ahead, sir. You do not have, you didn't have straps on this installed, did you? No, I wouldn't use them. We've got a bit of an issue with straps lately. Um, the uh, at least the ones I've bought have been their fiber has been really um 
really poor, so they just break apart. I wouldn't recommend using the ones I've got. Some black magic. Oh yeah, a wing and a prayer, I would say, is what, what you use to hold on the bales right now. Gosh, really. Just uh, yeah. don't get hit by a car up there, you know. We got some crazy oh. drivers here in Wisconsin. On the traffic. On the traffic. What, what well, you mean? What we call it around my home. I don't hear no rice cooker. No, I'm not. I'm not, not calling it a rice cooker. I'm saying around my hometown. Um, we used to have a Honda plant up north, and oh, shoot. About, about two two o'clock, they'd be let off, and they'd come down the highway that was close to us. And good lord, they're dirty. Oh yeah. All right. They play dirty. Yeah, but you're from Ohio, aren't you? Yeah. That explains a lot. Well, thanks. <laughs> come on now. Always been an ongoing joke. You guys always act like you're bending me. But we are. Sorry. Well, except for Cattle. He's from Oregon. I don't know how much better he can be. Yeah, Oregon. Yeah, I know. We just kind of avoid that place. Even Washington. I don't know about Dairy Deer. I question him, too. But Jimmy, I was talking to Jimmy the other day. He was... He was a nice guy, for sure. Yeah, I've only talked to him once, and that was when I was helping him on his computer. Yep. Yeah, I was talking to him. Um, Jimmy runs a, uh, or not runs, but works for a case dealership um, in Washington. He's a real nice guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I, I didn't know that. He works in the uh, parts division. So he, he's all, all on that knowledge of case. We okay. were talking about um, tillage equipment. And some of the problems they're having with case tillage equipment. So that's been interesting. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, we haven't had, we don't have a case dealership around here, do we? No, it's just that John Deere dealer down south. Oh yeah, and they uh, they give you a lot of crap, don't they? Yeah, I looked around their counter when I was buying some parts, and I saw a 656 brochure sitting in it. Oh, shoot. Probably a brand new brochure, too, I bet. Oh, yeah, I looked all spiffy and swords. Oh, man. Surprised they didn't pin that thing on the wall. It'd be a lot higher than that green stuff. Oh, shoot. I'm talking trash now. But I guess that's why your uh, brochure's in the trash, too, isn't it? How are you just trying to get out of here? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. But I will say, this Case Baylor is a nice machine. It's got its oh, occasional see. problem. Especially with the chamber not wanting to release sometimes, but that might be user error. I don't know if one of these um these hydraulics are stuck or something maybe. Or you're just hitting the wrong one. Ah uh, yeah, maybe so. You know, I've been using this tractor forever, but I can still be wrong. So after this you're you're gonna be done with picking up hay and what's going on? Uh probably so. I think we'll we'll probably be joining back with the guys here in probably October. And we'll be getting into bean harvest or something. I'd hope so. I'm about done with loading all this hay. Yeah, I know. Uh, hay work, I mean, it's been fun, but hay work gets a little boring after a while, don't it? No, especially loading hay. Oh, yeah. Raking and mo mowing, you know, mowing's fun. And so is baling, yeah. but, but uh, transporting the bale to and from, oh, man, that's a tedious task, ain't it? I do wish, uh, wish there was like an auto loader me, you know, one of them um, trailers that got the arm on it. You could just swing in and pick one up. Maybe I need to ask the co-op to invest in one of them things. I know Anderson's got a uh, real nice one out. Oh yeah. Yeah, Anderson. The Anderson Group's got a nice one. Uh, they've been trialing here in Wisconsin. I've seen it a couple times um, at the dealership. Not our local one, but a uh, one that's fairly close. And what? Uh, 
what Trinity? Probably so. Um, I think they're on like the uh, the west side. I mean, not the west side. The east side of Westby. I can't think of what's out there. It kind of slipped my mind. But one of them, one of those dealerships out there. I think they sell a lot of off-brand stuff or, you know, untraditional. Mm -hmm. I know that's where I got my um, Alice Chalmers mint pill. Oh yeah. Or you you bought a Deutsch Alice, didn't you? Yep. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Cause I have a uh, an old school Alice one that I pulled from the weeds from the dealership. You know, they got that junk row out there. You no, know, not really surprised. I'm only seeing John Deere sitting in that row. Yeah, well, I pulled an Alice Chalmers from it. I was surprised to see it too. Don't know if that uh, tells you what done happened to it or what. Uh, probably some welding and some cracks in the frame. You know, I haven't heard a whole lot of the problems John Deere has been having with these 60 or 6,000 tractors, but I see a lot of them sitting in the crap row. Oh, I know. I mean, I love my little uh, 6310, but I'm not too sure either. Maybe it's, uh, maybe, it's, I don't know if it's maybe the engine or transmission in them. Something goes, you know? Let me do some research. Yep. Probably, um, I think they were developed over in Europe, weren't they? Uh, they might have had some Europe in them. Yeah, um, I know the, uh, you know, the large frame 610 series that the, uh, EU guys got, but we didn't. So, I, I'd assume the, uh, 6000 series is a Mannheim tractor. Not, um... I'm seeing a lot of, hmm? Hmm? I'm seeing a lot of rear end issues. Oh, I... Light rear end, yeah, I could believe it. Those tractors are certainly not meant to pull a whole lot. I think mine is only about 120 horsepower. Well, I see a lot of them with duels out there, so I figured they're doing something big with them. Oh, yeah. That's probably the issue. Probably bought a 10 series thinking, you know, it's going to replace their 40 series tractor and it's just not built for it, you know? No. That's probably what some peop some guys were doing. Um... It's oh, unfortunate. But, you know, we got a lot of dairy guys out here anyway. They like to... Not us, but I know some guys like to beat the crap out of their stuff, unfortunately. Oh, it's horrible. I seen... Oh, what was it? It was like a... Mm, crap, I can't... Oh, it was a J.I.K. Uh, J I K. So it was a 1070. I was sitting at the dealer, and the interior was... Crashed. Oh, I don't know how people can let that happen, man. There's cans everywhere, and the fiber itself, like the headliner and just the interior fiber, it was ripped up. Oh, yeah, I bet. It's crazy how some machines can go and be destroyed like that, you know? Mm hmm. And then other machines, some people, you know, really take care of their equipment. Mm -hmm. I've never understood um, I know uh, the group was sharing a picture of a 77,000 that had 500 hours on it and the guy wanted like $200,000 for it have you seen that? God, these auction prices are really going through the roof these days oh I know I can't I assume people want the low electronic but you know still some electronic and creature comforts well Probably also rarity. Yeah. But I was never much of a 1000 series guy anyway. Mm -hmm. I always thought the 10 series was a big jump on the 1000 series. Some, you know, some upgrades. Even though they're based on the same thing, you know, just some general upgrades to the machine. But I wouldn't mind testing out a 30 or 20 series to uh, pick up here on the farm. You know, that. At 60, um, the 4630 is just a little bit of a small machine for what I do for tillage. Yeah. Hey, um, remember what I was saying about my transmission knocking on the Suburban? Yeah? Uh, you want to look at it? Yeah, I'll, um, I'm coming back down. Uh, I'm right here. Oh, shoot.
drum brakes. You and your drum brakes. We're gonna have to get you some better some better brakes on that thing. What you got going on? I can hear it coming from the front end. If I yeah, you might. I can't get a better look at it, can you? Yeah. Um. Let me see. Uh. Uh. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't see. Um. I can't really it's see down in the there. It's coming from the front end. I think it's coming from that axle. You mind turning your wheel the other way for me? There we go. Can you see that? Here, go on the other side. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. I'm. I'm gonna scooch it up. Oh shoot! Yeah. Hold up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You are disconnected there, bud. Oh oh. Yeah. She There's she might want to go to the shop there. Yeah, oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Uh, you have lost part of your U joint. The, lovely. The the uh, left half of your yoke is gone. It must still be on there because it's not devastating, but I'm just going down the road and I can hear it. Oh, shoot. Yeah, um, so are you done for, you going to head home or what you doing? Uh, yeah, I guess I need to head home because I was going to wash off that 4030 and get that combine out. Oh, um, you said you were, your uh, 4230 was for sale, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I just turned it in a couple days ago. Oh, it's, uh, up at the dealer. Oh, yeah? Oh, I might have to go talk to Brucker about it then. See what he has to say. Yeah, it was a nice tractor. It's just a little underpowered. Uh, do you remember how many hours were on it? Uh, 2.5 hours or something like that. Okay, so like, two and a half K. Okay, I have to look at it. Um, yeah, I'll definitely take a look, go up there one day. Cause I um I could use a second or a third tractor, a real nice big tractor. The uh, mm -hmm. 6310 is great, but um it's a little low on power, especially when I'm going to be putting um, Kilbro's carts behind it and all that good stuff. Yeah, I know that 1486 I just bought. It's going to be good with the Wilmar spreader because I was going to well I was intending on renting one from Brucker and put down some fertilizer on some hay ground. Oh yeah, yeah I, um. I definitely got to go ahead and pick up a uh, bigger tractor here. I know uh, I was talking to Jono, my uh, well, my French helper. He said he was maybe looking at a uh, T6 option, like a New Holland or a um, 7810. We were thinking about getting. I know Cattle. He's got a. Oh, I don't know whether it's a T5, but he's got a. I think he had a New Holland. I heard he was moving on to one of them fence. Yeah, he he upgraded to one of them fence. I know Dairy done picked up like a T5. Oh yeah, Dairy Deer, that was what was happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Day. Oh nice yeah. Tractor. Yeah, 32 mile an hour gearbox. That's a big upgrade. That's a lot easier because my farm, no, it's way down that way and it's a little long riding that 18 miles an hour. Yeah, I know. You, you want me to go on my uh, 6310 all the time at 18 miles an hour to come up and help you. Well, I came down here and picked it up earlier today when I hauled my hay. Yeah, I know. Yep. All right, well, I'm going to let you go, um, and we're going to go on ahead and head out. I'll let you guys go as well. Um, this has been Episode 2 of the MPU Series, and uh, I want to thank JCL for joining me. Hopefully we can get the other guys in here sometime soon. Hey, stop honking at me. Bye. Yeah, that's right. you back. See you later. Welcome to the uh, space program. Um, yeah, this is what we've been. Cattle, you ready? Hit it. Uh oh. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, no. Yep. Get get there in the center. All right. You ready? Hit it. Space yeah. program. Let me space. Pew. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> lord! That was perfect. Yes. Oh, you're still going. Who me? Yes. Yeah. I turned it on. That's why I redid the uh, space program. Oh. And blue. Yep. It's I on. Landed it again. Alright, I'm on my way. Yep. Hit it when I get there. Oh no. Okay. Oh my lord. I gotta be um, able to see this. Gotta see if you believe it. Watch out for the shit bourbon. No, <laughs> no, I just had it. <laughs> <laughs> just dance. Oh oh man. You <laughs> landed. Get in the suburban. Get in the suburban GSL.
Oh my god. The suburban okay, seems okay. to do the best. I know. Alright. Let me see if I can get a time. I need a... <laughs> Screw off. Oh no. You know what, I think I'm going to name a space program. It's going to be the title of the video. Hang on. Alright, hold up. Set it up. Hang on. Set it up. Let's okay, do stop. it together. Set it up. Okay. Yep. And Go on ahead. Both of you. Oh, jeez. You ready? Yeah, right there. Go for it. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Go for oh. it. Oh, jeez. Cattle, <laughs> oh. <laughs> you went so this far. Thing for, for, for what it is. Yep. This thing's pretty good at flying. Oh, know? yeah. I think I... I'm going to land right where I took off from that one. Oh, yeah. Space program. Oh, jeez. Hello. Where did he go? Oh, there you go. I thought you got flung farther than that. Leroy Jenkins. <sighs> at least the axles work on this. I want to see if I can, like, tip it. Click it once. I want to see where it tips. Or let him go. Hit it. Oh, I tipped it. Neither of you went very far. Yeah. No. Oh. oh, and you, you landed it. Alright, send me to space! Space program! Yeehaw! <laughs> Crap. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh. Where's that gonna oh, land? It's going away. Watch your head. Watch your head. Did land it land? <laughs> oh, Lord. This is <laughs> the outro. This is uh, the outro. We're not gonna have the serious one that I was planning to have. We're gonna have this. Here, I want to see if I can get this to the longest point. It's either going to clip through or it's going to fly. Yeah, I yeah, think on, it's going to clip on, through. Let me back. You I want to be right recording. behind you. Oh, oh it went. Nice. Yeah, I didn't go very far. Um, you ready? Time to go. Oh. Wee. <laughs> 105 miles an hour. <laughs> the fastest that <laughs> thing's ever gone. Probably. All right, one more, and then I got to get back to work. Yeah. Come on. There you go. Oh, the tractor's still on. Oh! That was more... That was the best one so far. Other than the first one we did. Yeah. Oh man. This is my favorite <laughs> thing. This is my All new right, favorite. open the door. I'm parking this thing. Alrighty. Yep. yep, I gotta get back to work. So, uh, don't tell anyone about this. Uh, we gotta surprise them. Oh, I can't post screenshots. Mm. You know what? Uh, don't give them. An, if you have one that gives contacts, don't. But if you have something uh, in the sky, I'm, I'm just gonna post it midair. Yeah, midair. Don't give contacts, but uh, yeah, we gotta get Brucker and them <laughs> in on this. All right, I'm gonna keep my ship urban here. Yeah. I gotta get back to the bomb. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching today's episode. Um, that's all. <laughs> We're just having fun. <laughs>